Would you like to collect multiple types of information in one field? Well, let me show you how with the configurable list widget. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you want to collect a lot of information but not take up a lot of space within your Jotform, the configurable list is what you're going to want. Now it does take a little extra setup, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do it. So let's go ahead and create a brand new form, top left-hand corner, we'll do create form. I'm gonna start from scratch on the classic form and we can bring in a couple of the normal form elements. We'll do full name and email. Then I'm going to head over to my widgets category and I can see that the configurable list is right up there at the top. It is one of our most popular ones. Now you can see what I mean by collecting a lot of information just in one field. So we can see that we have a short text option, we have a drop down, a calendar, and a time all within one Field. Now, before we start editing that, let's go ahead and look over on the right hand side at the information down at the bottom. So one thing that we can see is we can choose how many rows are visible by default. So for example, maybe you want the minimum to be three. We can see that there are now three visibly shown and maybe we want to do a maximum row of 10. So we don't want more than 10 pieces of information within this section. So we can see right down here, we have the add row. So it's only going to show three, but if people want to add more, they can do that if they would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to one. And up at the top is where we're going to put in all the fields that we are going to want to add in. Now, like I mentioned, it takes a little bit more work than the drag and drop, but it is absolutely worth it. So do not let all of this over here push you away because Jotform has made it really, really simple to do. So we can see we have short text right here and then we have the text field. We have drop down. This first one is going to be the label. So we see drop down and then we have the type of field, which is a drop down field. And then we have what is inside the drop down and then we have what is showing on the face. Then we have a calendar, date input, month, day, year. If your region or your country uses a different format, you are more than welcome to change what that looks like. Maybe it is day, month, year. You just have to change these two right here. And then we have the time and then we have the input as 12 hours. So I am going to completely delete everything from there. And then you'll want to click here to bring you to all of the supported fields. Now, the great thing about this is Jotform does give you exactly what is happening, but they give you really easy things to copy and paste. So let's say right here, all I have to do is just copy this name and text. We'll head back over. We can paste this in. Okay, we have that name field. Let's go ahead and head back. We can add some numbers. So let's say that we want their age age number and enter your age. Now with this, they make it really easy to copy and paste, but maybe you don't want it to be age. Maybe you want this to be how many. And then of course we have the number field and then we can change into your age to number. So we can add that in there. All right, let's head back over. Now we have a text area. Maybe we want to add in a place where people can add in their comments or turn down. Perfect. We're gonna head on back. Let's do a drop down and let's talk about ordering a pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the comments so that we have more room. And again, maybe we want this to be something else. Maybe we want this to be sandwiches. Maybe we want this to be turkey, ham, or veggie. And if we want, we can put another colon and we can put veggie and we can see that veggie has now become the main one to show up, but we can delete that. Let's go ahead and head on back. We can do a radio button. And how do we want this to be sent to us? All right, we have order. We have the radio button, pickup or delivery. Perfect. Now we have some check boxes. What kind of add-ons do we want? All right, so you can see we've gone down to the second line. If you're okay with that, we can definitely keep going. I am going to get rid of these two so that way everything just stays on the same line again we have the add-ons and you want we can make a space there add-ons we can have different ones we have our fries now we have that date we do date of birth and again if we want we can change this to day and month perfect day month year now we can head back and we can do a time input 
This is the arrival time. Perfect, hour and minute. And let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's do a static. So this is more of like a note. This is something that's gonna be there all the time. Kind of like our paragraph text. We can get rid of some of these so it kind of shows up. So this isn't something that they are going to edit. It's gonna automatically always be there. So let's go ahead and preview this form. Let's see what this looks like. So we can choose how many, perfect, we can add. And I think we said that we could add as many as 10. Let's go ahead and see what happens once we add that 10th row. And once we add the 10th one, it stops allowing you to add. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to put multiple fields, collect lots of information just in a smaller space, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.